Hello guys, good day. Potensic recently released an update to their Potensic application, then some firmware update as well. So what's new in this version, they've actually introduced a ground height indicator on the flight interface, improved design of certain flight interface icons, added compatibility for the propeller guard, and address various known issues. However, many users have reported uh, problems after updating such as sudden disconnections between the drone and remote controller during the flight, triggering the return home feature, reduced accuracy in remote to drone responsiveness, and in some cases, the inability to connect the drone to the app. So today guys, we're going to uh, test the new firmware by flying the drone to identify any technical issues that might arise and additional I'll check the height limit and maximum distance capabilities to evaluate its you know overall performance and hey guys uh, sorry I didn't get to record the whole update process but once you open the Potensic app it updates automatically just make sure to let it finish which takes about 5 to 10 minutes not only the application but there's also a battery gimbal flight control firmware upgrade so make sure that you updated those upgrade before taking off for me i always calibrate everything the compass controller and the gimbal before flying to make sure everything works fine and as you can see here uh, you're going to check how i do it Connected. Horizontal calibration. Vertical calibration. Calibrated successfully. And then all right, everything's ready. Let's take off. Home point refresh. Okay, I'll try to test the maximum distance that we can go and you can check the distance on the bottom left of this uh, video.
by the way guys as you can see here I am actually checking the gimbal accuracy and responsiveness of the drone So far, I've flown this drone up to 3,335 feet, which is the maximum distance I've tested. I decided to head back at that point and still had 65% uh, battery left. Honestly though, it feels like it could easily go beyond 4 to 5,000 feet. Here I decided to stop the recording because I was experiencing some interference 
As you can see in this screen recording, factors like signal reception sensitivity, antenna positioning, obstacles, and electro electromagnetic interference can all impact transmission performance during flight. Okay guys, so let's just change the battery, then let's try to check the height limit that we can go. At the height the of 671 feet, I started experiencing weak signals and interference as shown on the screen recording. So because of this, I decided to head back. Overall, my experience hasn't been too bad compared to others who reported total disconnections mid-flight. Of course, it's always a case-to-case -case basis. Not all Potensic drone owners will have the same experience. It largely depends on factors like the environment, location, wind conditions, and more. What about you? Have you tried this firmware update? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching. This is Jake and you're watching JKLTV. See you on my next video. Happy flying guys.